It doesn't surprise me at all that 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea won two Oscars. It won the Oscar for Best Art Direction, Set Decoration, Colour, and it won Best Effects, Special Effects. Now, there is actually one special effect that I want to talk about that I thought was a little bit weird, um, but I'll talk about that towards the end. Um, it was also nominated for Best Film Editing. It didn't win, but the editing certainly was quite good. Now, ordinarily, this isn't my kind of film. I don't really care for anything nautical, but... I have to say, I'm, I'm working through Disney's catalogue of feature films and I actually quite enjoyed it a lot more than I thought, so I'm glad I gave it a chance. The film was released originally in 1954, it's directed by Richard Fleischer, with a screenplay by Earl Felton, based, of course, on the novel by Jules Verne. We have a great cast, including Kirk Douglas as Ned, James Mason as Captain Nemo. And the narrative is something I knew nothing about. I did not know anything about it. And part of me wonders how much detail I should go into. So I'll describe it a tiny bit, but I might hold back a little bit of information um, just to begin with. And then, of course, I'll go into more detail with a spoiler warning. But it seems like there's this monster out at sea. So a group of men decide to go off to sea to try and uh, capture this monster, to try and work out what it is. And what it actually is, is not something I'd expected. And I have to say, it's pretty cool. And that point onwards, I thought, this is actually really interesting. We've got brilliant characters, fabulous set designs, definitely an unpredictable narrative. So there'll be some tiny spoilers from this point onwards. I'm not going to spoil any of the major plot points. I'm not going to give anything major away, but there will be a few tiny details here and there that I'll be mentioning. And I guess the first thing that I want to say is what the monster is. I don't actually think it's a secret. I think it's kind of obvious after I've, you know, I, I googled 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea after I watched it to read a bit more about it. And I think it's the general consensus that everybody knows what it is except me. And the monster is actually a submarine. And... These men board this submarine, um, Captain Nemo kind of holds him captive, holds them captive, and it's very unclear what their fate is. And they try to escape, things don't necessarily go to plan, and they're heading towards this island, and the island, the scenes on the island, I thought were beautifully shot. It's you know, we spend so much time in the darkness. It's not dark, but in darker conditions inside the submarine. Fabulous set design. It's really brilliant, but it definitely feels very claustrophobic. It's very atmospheric. Um, but for me, as somebody who just would never go in a submarine, there's no amount of money that could you could pay for me to go into a submarine. It is very claustrophobic and underwater. It's just you know beautifully done, but feels very um, intense and then we have the scenes on the island and we have all of these vast open spaces and the beautiful bright blue sea and the gorgeous yellowy sands and it's just a stark contrast and I think it's just beautifully shot and very well done. There is a scene or even just a couple of minutes after that island scene that I thought was interesting and again, this is a teeny weeny spoiler. It doesn't tell you anything about the development of the narrative as such, but it's when we meet the natives and it's the electricity. And I won't say any more than that, but you'll know exactly which bit I mean. And the sp <laughs> honestly, the scene itself is really quite uncomfortable. It's a little bit awkward. The treatment of the natives is just unacceptable, but also they were going to go after them and try and kill them too. So, you know, eye for an eye, I guess. Um, not that they killed the natives. It was harmless, so we are told. But the special effects of the electricity, just these bright blue little bolts dancing around their feet. On the one hand, it's actually really brilliantly done and very effective. On the other hand, it's blatantly, obviously fake and um, a little bit awkward. So I don't know, I loved it, but I don't know if I loved it for the right reasons, if that makes sense. We have some beautiful underwater shots, which even for me, as somebody who hates deep open water, it's beautiful to see the marine life. Really stunning. Really enjoyable film. Brilliant narrative development. Captain Nemo in particular is a very fascinating character. I would definitely like to learn more about him. Not so much that I want to read the book. I really... I'm, again, I'm not a big fan of nautical narratives. So I'm not that bothered about reading the book. But certainly if you're aware of any interesting analyses of Captain Nemo's character, I think I'd be quite keen to read those in particular. I didn't know what to expect from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but I went into it with an open mind. And I'm pleased I did, because I really thoroughly enjoyed it and definitely recommend it 